Well, the man keeps sticking it to me, and today we're going to stick it to the man. See that hole right back there? That hole is going to be vitally important for me and saving money in the future. Let me show you something. Got this from my water company. Dear residents, blah, 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 we're doubling your effing bill. Yeah, that's really what it says here. Doing improvements on our entire system, and uh, in order to pay for that, literally doubling the price of water. Now, they have given us one small glimmer, maybe. I've gotta go through and do all the math on this, but they're going to give us more water monthly, moving us to 20,000 gallons from I think like 13 or 14,000. So we've gone up. And then incrementally, it goes up higher like every other water bill. So I don't wanna waste any water. I don't wanna go over. I wanna keep myself in control. And that's what that hole's for. Let's go look. All right, so I've already thrown in my Green sprinkler head here, right here. One wire running over to controller. Water's all hooked up. I've got it sitting here most of the way in. I'm gonna get it all patched back up here momentarily. This one sprinkler head is going to water this whole thing, just one. Now, currently, about where this line is right now, there are five heads that run across this way. There's another five heads behind the camera. There's another five heads down along the bed. And there's another five heads just up here along the back bed. All of this has double coverage. All of it kind of overlaps probably in too many ways. The heads do reach each other, but then there's always going to be these parts of the lawn where it's getting twice as much water as anything else. All right, guys, it is time for some shop talk. This right here is a sprinkler head from the Irrigreen system that I just installed. And we're gonna do a little comparison so I can show you the difference between like a standard Rainbird rotor head. You know, these are pretty common out there and this new system that I'm putting in. So I want you guys to just get a whole idea of the scope, how big this thing is, and ultimately what it's gonna do for you on the lawn. Let's take a look at what's in the box. What's in the box? Okay, so here's what we've got. Paper, very important. 50 feet of cable for your sprinkler. This is gonna run to the controller or two other sprinklers. Directions, how to replace the head. The connection that's gonna go from the water main to the sprinkler, right here. And of course, the head itself. Now, here's where the magic happens on this thing. Um, obviously, you've got your connections to go to the controller, and this will take it right back to another sprinkler head. But I just want to show you here what we're dealing with. So this is a standard Rainbird. It's about six inches tall. It's a, what is this, a four-inch pop-up, okay? See, it's about the same size as just the upper portion. Everything inside here is the valve system. It would be just like having valves located somewhere else, but it's all done in here, including flow meters, and all sorts of other good stuff. So when this head pops up, we've got a single nozzle right here that's adjustable. You can change these little things out for spray patterns, adjust them here, and it's gonna give you one throw that goes around. And you can adjust the, the length of the throw pretty far, but you can see down here, uh, 55 PSI, you get about 32 feet. So. That's about where these run as well. You're gonna get about the same thing, but you're getting a considerably more volume of water out of this rather than this head right here. Now, if you don't already know, I have already installed two of these heads down on my golf green below. This sprinkler head's going up in my main lawn and it's gonna do about 2,000 square feet just on its own. I'm doing this the same way where I found the pipe that goes across for that particular station. I'm terminating that pipe and then throwing on my elbow and the connection for the Irrigreen sprinkler. Now, this is all actually pretty simple, but I really screwed it up when I was doing this because I hooked to the wrong side of the pipe. I thought I was on a different line and I wasn't. So it took me a little bit longer to get this whole thing put together. However, once I got that figured out, it was just as simple as trenching a quink line over to the other side so that I could run the cable through it and connect it to the controller. 
Again, none of this stuff actually takes very long. And the biggest part about it, what is the most time consuming, would be when I had to cap off the other sprinklers on the line, make sure that there were no breaks or issues or leaks, and then calibrate the system. That's pretty much it. You're rocking and rolling with one head, replacing on this side about 20 sprinkler heads. I guess this is just one of those things. You know, you can have a smart lawn, but you can't have a smart lawnmower. Anyway, let me show you how this app works because it's pretty dang easy. And one thing I love about this is that it tells you how many gallons you're using. And also it's all run on inches of water rather than having to do a tuna can to figure anything out. You actually set how many inches of water you want to irrigate. And that makes things so much freaking easier. Now the app is very intuitive and you can see like why there's a big spike here was because I put in the new sprinkler and I was getting everything set up. So basically I had to use a bit more water and that's all. Everything you need to know about the Irrigreen system you can find in the link below, okay? And while you're looking at that, check out these videos right here. They'll give you more in-depth insight into irrigation, smart irrigation, and how to make your lawn the envy of the neighborhood.